150 Group 1 wins. What a special day, Neil Payne, and you're dressed to enjoy it. Oh, am I right? But um, incredible for Gay and Adrian. Uh, like you say, 150 Group 1s Gay now. Adrian and Gay round about 18 or 20 Group 1s. Gay's first trad broke. And the alligator blood back to his best. You know, Gay and Adrian, as it's been well documented over the last year or two, the horse has had problems. But um, Gay and Adrian, the staff back at Ramwick and also up here in Brisbane have worked overtime to get this horse right. He's, I was telling the owners before, you know, he's just such a happy horse and a great horse to do anything with. And we've actually just wrapped that we've got him and he's come back to his best. So uh, what more can I say? The stable knew that he was flying. Oh, we knew. Uh, after he's run, you know, we we're a bit weary, you know, first up last, you know, two weeks ago. But when he put that run on the board, he'd improved so much since. Tim Clark come up and rode him Tuesday and said, look, this horse is flying. He looked a treat in the yard. So, look, it's just incredible that Gay and Adrian could get him back to where he is. Maybe it's controversy behind him now. Uh, alligator blood, because it seems to follow him everywhere. Ah, uh, look, who cares about controversy? Yeah, everyone's got controversy, myself included. So, look, who cares? The yeah, alligator's back. That's the main thing. Well done, Neil Payne, representing the stable. So, for the record, uh, Gay and Adrian have now trained 16 Group One winners together. When Gay finished her solo career and joined with Adrian, she had 134 individual Group Ones. So, chalk 150. 150 Group 1 wins for Gay Waterhouse and as Tim Clark comes back he can celebrate Group 1 win number 35. 35 and his first stray broke as well. Well done TC. Take us through that. What a ride. Thank you. Yeah, no, he um, look, he began well but as expected there was a fair bit of tempo and um, just, well, not only did I not have the horse to be in that in that speed battle but I knew that um, if I if I attempted to be with him I'd I'd, I'd have nothing left at the end, so I was able to sort of slide across, back in behind them, and end up working out lovely. I got at the back of Ayrton, and um, obviously that horse just took me everywhere I needed to go. And just on straining, it was just a matter of just being patient, letting him build through his gears, and so all he has to do is find off the bridle, and he uh, he showed a great turn of foot, and. Yeah, obviously I haven't had a lot to do with the horse's career, but that was a pretty special performance. A very special performance. So the first time you rode him was in track work this week? Uh, I rode him first up here, and um, obviously he ran terrific, and I come up and worked him on Tuesday, and he's a pretty pretty casual horse, so he done as, as much as you'd expect him to do, but he's just, you know, with that run under his belt, he's just taken that bit of improvement, and you know, obviously I was a bit dejected when he draw that, drew that barrier, but um, it panned out beautiful for him, and I'm yeah, obviously great to, to ride another Group 1 winner for Gay and Adrian. Gay's 150th, the first straight broke, and I'm sure they'll be stoked. Well done, TC. Thank you. It's a pretty quick strad break. They've broken 122 on many occasions. They're on 121.73, home in 35.63. One length by one and three quarters. Alligator Blood has won the strad break. Rightio, the lucky last year at Newcastle on the eight-road.